Alright, welcome back. Okay, tonight here we got a, uh, a four pill test that we're going to do for you. This is a four pill that uh, I just built for a customer. It's slightly different from our uh, the everyday uh, four pill that you see out there today, but uh, this four pill here is all 2290s, no 2879s here. Now the 2870, 2879 models are definitely decent, uh, you know, amps all the way around. It's just something, you know, where one thing that we do here at Destroyer Amps is we customize to to what you want. So if you want an all four pill 1446, we've done that before. Those are definitely good screamers. Um, the 2290 models like this guy here, this is definitely a really decent guy, especially if uh, you're limited on amp draw and uh, don't want to go overboard with uh, overloading your alternator. Okay, now this guy here will require a driver, so tonight <clears throat> we're just only going to be hitting it with a uh, 1446, the driver here. Now she only does about 120 watts, so we're just going to give you a quick little test key to show you what you can expect out of four 2290s. And a lot of ant manufacturers back in the 90s used to make a lot of these, and they're actually really hard to find nowadays. I believe Texas Star was a big one. So, if you guys are thinking of anything out there, you know, definitely feel free to send us the email, and uh, we can go ahead and work with you pretty much on anything. All right, let's go ahead and take the cover off here, show you the goods. <clears throat> All right. Let's see if we can get a nice close-up here of the 2290s. There we go. All right. Okay, definitely a decent box all the way around. Now, another thing too, <clears throat> every build that we do, we actually sit around and we just talk on it for a while. I call it the break-in. And uh, during the break-in of this guy, she ran very cool all the way through. I was actually very surprised. Uh, it's been a while since uh, <clears throat> we've actually uh, built a, a 2290 model like this, but this is uh, definitely a really nice box and definitely going to make somebody happy. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, enough talking and let's do some uh, tests here. All right, now this guy here is going to be floating around uh, almost uh, 16 volts, so it's going to be about 15 and a half volts basically when we put a good load on it. So just to give you guys an idea of uh, what she's going to do. And again, as always, on uh, every build that we do, we use a single final radio try to keep everything as practical as we can and uh, we're using the, uh, the LP100A and uh, we test here on channel 20 to get a nice uh, split of the band here alright now this is peak watts, I had some guys that question if it was RMS or peak this right here is just peak watts a lot of guys out there don't have the, uh, the RMS side but you know, hey, if you want to purchase an amp from us and uh, you want the bird scale here, we can give you a bird scale. We can get the LP100A. It doesn't matter to us. But I personally like the LP100A. Um, it's it's definitely a, a decent meter all the way around. Definitely highly recommended. But let's go ahead and give her a quick test key. Audio. Check, check, check. Breaker, breaker, breaker. All right, it's about 783. Definitely not too bad here. Audio check, 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 check. It's a good about a a 26 on that one. Hello, check, check, check. Right, that's pretty much at a straight dead key. Oh, yeah. It's a constant 780. So, yeah, expect about, um, you know, anywhere between <clears throat> 700 to 750. 
practical. Now what I get on the bench here will probably be a little slightly higher than what you would on your stock uh, electrical system, but um, kind of gives you a good idea of uh, what to expect out of it. But definitely all around a great amplifier. And if any of you guys had any questions or <clears throat> about a custom build that you're looking forward to here in the future, drop us an email. You can reach us at uh, destroyeramps at AOL.com or even visit our website and see what we have in store at destroyeramps.com. All right, 73rd, fellas.